Hi everyone, just wanted to share this quick lacto-fermented recipe, pickling recipe, uh, using green tomatoes. So if you have a garden and as we near the end of the summer, you, like us, probably will end up with lots of green tomatoes. And if you don't know what to do with them, this is a great way to turn them into something really delicious and healthy. So you can use green tomatoes mixed with any type of, kind of pickling vegetables that you have in your garden or in your in your fridge. Um, so let's get straight into it. So I'm using uh, about three uh, green tomatoes. Uh, also picked this um, vegetable called kohlrabi, which is basically a type of cabbage. But any type of kind of, kind of normal cabbage will do if you want to add that. Uh, also using some uh, dill from our garden. So this can be um, either dill that you buy in shops um, or you can just use it from your garden. Um, some parsley, I'm using this from our garden. Uh, three or four uh, le bay leaves. Uh, again, this is from our garden. Uh, and this is lovage, which is kind of like... Um, uh, celery, but you can use celery instead of this and also using crushed chilies, some coriander seeds and pure vine sea salt. Wash and slice up your vegetables and just wanting to emphasize that you can use any pickling vegetables that are available to you. So this can be cabbage, radishes, beetroots, uh, anything really, cucumbers. Uh, you can throw everything together. Slice three or four garlics in half. Rinse the herbs. Quarter of a tablespoon of coriander seeds. And a little bit of crushed chilies. It's up to you how much you want to use it. So you can start putting the vegetables in and start layering it uh, with your herbs. So your garlic, your lavage or celery, and uh, your dill, your bay leaves, and so on. So we're just going to build it like that. Make sure to pack it in nice and tight layer by layer. Make sure all the herbs are in the middle so they don't uh, submerge on the top uh, and also save the um, biggest pieces of your vegetables for last so they're at the top preventing all the small pieces from rising up. Dissolve 35 grams of sea salt with some boiling hot water and then add enough filtered water so you have one liter in total. So we'll take this one liter of tepid water and pour it in. You have to keep everything submerged. Uh, so there's two ways you can do this. Uh, one way is you can use these wooden skewers and make these little sticks uh, in order to keep everything submerged like this. Uh, another option uh, that you can do uh, is use uh, a food safe uh, Ziploc bag, fill it with water, uh, not, not completely, just a little bit, and then put it in on top so it keeps everything submerged. Make sure that you, you don't fill it to the brim because as it ferments uh, it might spill out. So just give yourself a little, little room and at the same time 
uh, make sure that none of the vegetables are poking out of the water. We're going to seal this up and let this ferment for five to ten days depending on the temperature and so on. What you want to do is every day open this up and burp it. Essentially the gas will be building up inside and you want to release it every day. So you just put it on the countertop somewhere and just cover it with the cloth. And now we wait. It's day two. I'm going to burp it again. As you can see, there's a lot of activity happening. Depending on how warm it is in your kitchen, it, 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 might, it might be more bubbly or less. So close it back up and don't forget to burp tomorrow. So at day seven, I decided that it was ready and I put it in the fridge. This is just to kind of give you an idea of what it should look like in terms of color. But please do start tasting it from about day five. And then whenever you're happy with that taste, put it in a fridge.